presented this week, ladies and gentlemen, Anarchy Tag Team Championships are on the line. The Washington Bullets are challenging the current champions, Fred Gay High and Slim Jay, but Slim Jay letting them know that the fast start doesn't bother him a bit already on the offensive, wanting desperately to hold on to those Tag Team Championships. And right now, using his brother to catapult him in, gets oh Slim Jay bounce loss and then double boots. Double boot to the back of the head of Slim Jay, and now the, the match officially starts. All four men have been in the ring. Now it is officially for the Tag Team Championships, and Fred Yehe already making the mistake of distracting the refs so they can get the unfair advantage on Slim Jay. There's been a lot of questions here over the past few weeks over the loyalties of one Fred Yehi. He is, uh, his loyalty has been called into question by many, and one of those happens to be Team Platinum. This Platinum crew here, as you see Slim Jay being choked out in the uh, opposite end of the ring over there in the Bullets corner. PCW, or uh, the Platinum team here, Team Platinum claiming Fred Yehi is with them. The Bullets have claimed it. Fred Yehi has been absent for the last few weeks, nursing a knee injury that he suffered just before our 10th anniversary show. And right now you see Slim Jay backed up in the corner there. But if there is one thing that the members of Platinum's crew have proved over the past few months, they are very good at getting in the minds and manipulating the thoughts of superstars here in Anarchy. They are, they are masters of that. Washington Bullets looking to become the uh, four-time Anarchy Tag Team Champions, a feat that's only been accomplished by one other team, the Urban Assault Squad, four-time Anarchy Tag Team Champions. And right now, the Bullets have cut this corner off, and they started this one hot and heavy. They knocked Slim Jay and Fred Yehi off the, um, off the ring. And you see Yehi, at least right now, I mean, have you seen anything, you know, watching this matchup, you know, do you see anything that would indicate that maybe Yehi is having a, uh, a change of heart? Right now, honestly, I don't know. I think, I mean, he seems to be firmly behind Slim Jay, his uh, co-tag team champion. I mean, I don't see any evidence that he would even be swaying in the decision of even wanting to defect anywhere. Only a two count there. This is John Williams of the Washington Bullets. Taking back out to his brother Trey. The Bullets here since coming to Anarchy a few years ago. Rapidly climbed that ladder to tag team success. And even without the championship belts, I mean one you know cannot argue over how successful and how great the Bullets are as a tag team. Oh wait a minute, spinning in the face of Fred Yehi, the ultimate disrespect to anybody. And he spits right back, but still distracting the ref while they get the, the unfair advantage continuing to wear down Slim Jay. And Fred Yeha, I'll say one thing, since going on um, since going, you know, on that uh, that leave to nurse that knee injury has uh, has been working out rather heavily. I mean, you know, seeing a transformation in the body of Fred Yehi. Of course we take you back to the winner of 2014. Fred Yehi and Slim Jay were embattled in that best of five series that we saw. I mean these two men just I mean to add it back and forth, back and forth. And it's now one of the best series that I have ever seen in all of wrestling. I mean, they absolutely just a technical battle every single match they had. Good stuff as it goes for the cover. Able to kick out. And of course also Fred Yehi this past year was the first man ever to break the streak of Kyle Matthews. Kyle Matthews was a six-time uh, technical wrestler of the year voted on by the fans of GeorgiaWrestlingHistory.com. Fred Yehi tied Kyle Matthews for that award, breaking up that streak. So, I mean, you know, in great company there is Fred Yehi, but right now all he can do is look on at Slim Jay taking a ton of punishment here by Trey Williams. And one thing I like about Trey Williams, I mean, there's not very many things I like about the Washington Bullets, you know, one of those things being when they were platinum. But Trey Williams, I mean, look at him. I mean, the guy's got a lot of spring in his step. The man has a huge vertical jump. The man's athletic, he's agile, and he's got a mean streak. He definitely does. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, still to come. 
in your main event this evening. It will be for the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship. The Jagged Edge will be defending that title against Shadow Jackson. But right now, these two teams are vying for the Anarchy Wrestling Tag Team Championships. The Washington Bullets, multiple time tag team champions in their own right. And right now, in Slim J, of course, a Grand Slam winner here. Not just an anarchy, but we're talking about this arena history dating back to the wild side days. Slim J, a former everything. Slim, J's, <laughs> Slim J's done it all here in anarchy. And right now, Trey Williams needs to turn around. Slim J with that boot caught him to the back of the head. Not enough to make a tag, though. Oh, now it is. Now it is. There's a tag. Fred Yehi finally getting into the mix. A lot of frustration over there, and he is finally getting to let some of that loose. Well, I mean, it's been a couple months since we've seen Fred Yehi in a ring here in Anarchy. And right now, chopping it up. John Williams. On oh, right to the turnbuckle goes Fred Yehi. Up and over. Going for the cover. This could be all. Thought he was going to go for a T-bone suplex there. Looking more like a uh, T-bone power slam. Absolutely. And driving that fist right in. One of the reasons why this man was co-holder of the best technical wrestler of 2014. And now Fred Yehi. Being held by John Williams. Oh! Beautiful tag team move by the Bullets. Able to catch him right in the face with the bottom of his boot. But Slim J able to save his partner and those tag team championships as of now. Up and over since Trey outside the ring, but he gets met by John. Leaving Fred Yehi and John Williams into the ring by themselves as both Trey and Slim J are to the floor. Still to come in this hour, our feature contest, we'll see the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship. Jagged Edge taking on Shadow Jackson, a former Anarchy Heavyweight Champion in his own right. Slim J made the tag, but John didn't see it splash. Did you see that height? Trey able to save it. Trey Williams able to save the, uh, the count there. But these Anarchy Tag Team Championships, I mean, they're important to both these teams. But what a history-making night it could be if the Washington Bullets are able to get that fourth tag team championship. And right now, all indications are Fred Yehi isn't win this platinum jerks. Oh, kicking the knee. Good grief, what a kick to the face of Fred Yehi, but he better turn his attention behind him to Slim J. Missile drop kick right to the chest of John Williams. Outside and now it's Slim J in the ring all by himself. Where's he gonna go now? What's on the mind of Slim J? Trey Williams met him with a knee right to the jaw. You gotta believe he's going for the cover, he is. Slim J able to kick out once again. High impact wrestling that we're seeing right here from both of these teams. Just leaving it all on the mat. And right now, Trey Williams, they've been in this position before. They've been on the cusp of being the tag team champions because they've been the tag team champions. They know what it's going to take. And they know what it's going to take against a guy like Slim J. They are going to have to throw their best at him and then come back and throw some more if they're going to become the Anarchy Tag Team Champions. Absolutely. Oh, hey. D.A. Brewer got knocked out. Wait a minute, we got a three count here. That's almost a six, seven, eight, nine, ten count. Referee D.A. Brewer went down pretty hard. And right now, oh! Leighton kick right Wait a minute. And there comes Rachel donning those, those tag team championship belts. Where did she get those from? I have no idea. I have. 
That's what they were at the timekeeper's table. Obviously, she came up with them. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Fred Yehai is coming in. He gives him the belt. What? Don't do it, Fred. Oh, come on. Fred, I guess now the question will be answered. Where does Fred Yehai's allegiance lie? I mean, it's obvious. I mean, he's not trying to help Slim J. He's got that belt. Well, this is over. I mean, Fred, he hasn't even already helped his tag team partner. And have they gotten into his head? Johnson, I mean, have they gotten into his head? It looks like it. Slim J's helpless. I mean, I don't know. This is over. We're fixing to have new tag team champions. Just a matter of time. Before he's getting ready to hit him. I mean, they're, they're lining Slim J up. This is fixing to be over. Yeah. Oh! He hit him. He hit Trey with the belt. John Williams looks like he just saw a ghost spitting in the face. Slim J with the roll up. DA goes back to the vertical base and he counts him. Still tag team champion. Well, it's obvious where the allegiance lies. Fred Yehai and Slim Jay are still your Anarchy Tag Team Champions. No more questions. No more questions. Anarchy is stronger than ever. And we get the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship coming up next. Yeah.